All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. No. We have no choice, so let's do it. This is me, about to play one of the most haunted games in the world. One wrong move, and it is believed that I could be cursed forever. And if you thought that's the only paranormal activity I'll be facing in this video, you're unfortunately wrong. So wish me luck, as I'll be putting myself through seven of the scariest things you should never do at night. All right, guys, we got the box right here. You guys ready for this? No. No, I am. no, no, no. I'm only scared because my house is actually haunted, so these games are actually gonna be terrifying. And they might follow us home. I'm gonna pick the first one. You guys go inside and wait for me. Okay. Hey, giving you good well and good hopes and good wishes. Appreciate it. Don't go home, by the way. I know you're trying to sneak out of here, Anthony. What is the first game of the video going to be? I'm actually so scared. The Red Book Game. This one is actually creepy. I saw it all over TikTok. And I actually think a lot of these are going to work due to the fact that I am literally in a haunted house. So I'm excited yet scared to test this thing out. Let's go tell the gang. Drop a like on the video right now if you're loving the spooky vibes. All right, you guys ready for the first game? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of this. The Red Book Game. No, I never heard of that. But if you have a red book, I'm out. Let's just say we could ask questions, get some answers. Remember, the whole point of this video, too, is just to see if these games actually work. All right, guys, so to play this game, you need a red book. You need a red candle in the middle. Grab your friends and sit in a circle. First things first is you have to place your palm on the top of the book, and you have to ask for permission to enter the game. That's already bad. What do you yeah, have to ask for that's permission? Not no, I know. So you close your eyes, you skim through the pages, and you place your finger on a random spot. And the sentence that you pointed at is going to answer your question. So if it's a positive, that means you can play the game. If it's a negative, you have to do it again. We can pass the book around. Everyone can play, and we can all ask our own questions. Let's see how it goes. Okay. At least it's not a Ouija board, okay? It's I worse. <gasps> oh, what just happened? Anthony? Oh, dude. What just happened? You just knocked down the candle. Red book, may I enter your game? Eager to hear his next words. Oh, what? Oh, shut up. What? Guys, look oh, at this. Oh my god. That's <gasps> actually insane. really scary. Okay. All right, guys, we're in. Now we can play. Are you an evil spirit or a good spirit? A good spirit. We're all nice, I promise. It takes me a moment to realize I only understand half those words. So it's one of them, right? He only knows good or bad. Wait, that's so creepy. I'm good or bad, but I only understand one of them. Okay, let me ask one more. Are you here to harm anyone from our group? If it happens again, it means he doesn't know. What do you mean? Oh! <gasps> Okay, okay. Be specific <gasps> about har harming us harm. as in how. Okay, I'm gonna pass the book to someone else. Oh, Anthony, scary. hey, remember, so now that I passed the book, guys, Anthony has to ask for permission. Red book, may I enter your game? Very specific. Oh, it says that won't happen. That won't happen. Why can I not play? <gasps> you can't if you can't. Yeah, you're not you're entered not already. Entered, you can't. You're gonna get something that makes no sense because of that. Watch. I want to feel some shred of victory. What, what? does that Wait, wait, wait. You know how we always like try to talk to spirit? It like, doesn't want me to talk to it because it wants to feel victory over me. What? Because you know how Anthony's so involved in like the other side? Yeah. I think this spirit feels threatened by you. Okay, Red Book, I'm gonna ask again. Red Book, may I enter your game? Bro, if it's a no again, I think you should just yeah, pass the yeah. book. You need to pass it. Whoa. No, 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 Hey, wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, 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 Everyone no, no, stop, no. stop, stop. I'll teach you what it's like to know fear. <gasps> no, wait, no, you can't play it. I genuinely think Anthony passed the book. Do not even try again. <laughs> I'll teach you what it's like to know fear. Anthony. You know why? Because you always play around with the spirits and this one just wasn't having it with you. As soon as he got to you, he was like, uh, yeah, no. What about <laughs> Anthony's sister? Chanel, enter the book. I promise I'm not like Anthony. Red book, may I enter your game? See if it like Chanel. Well, look at who my brother is. Watching me with wide, excited eyes. So it's excited. <gasps> yes. It's excited to hear your question. I think it's only right I ask a question towards Anthony. Why do you not allow my brother to enter this game? Ooh. Dude, this is actually creepy. I'll have, I'll have to answer. No, no, look at what it says. They'll ask questions too. Questions I'll have to answer. What? Anthony. God. It's saying it doesn't want to answer my question. What? Exactly. It doesn't want my question. Does my brother intimidate you? Mm. 
How can I tell him I feel the energy in the air like a pulse, like another part of me, like another sense? Would he even understand? God. I'm actually shaking. Is Anthony the ghost, bro? It's answering a lot of questions. It might be because I'm related. Okay, wait. Can you feel comfortable with you for sure? Alright guys, so Leslie's gonna try it because she lives with Anthony and you guys have been experiencing weird stuff yeah. in the house too, right? Yeah. So let's see if she can enter the game. Red book, may I enter your game? Prepare the area for the upcoming the event. event. Uh oh. I think that's a yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. That's so scary because it could be an upcoming event to you guys at your house. Oh, because we missed with it. Stop. Oh, no. I don't want to do no, this. No, it's not going right. to your house. It's on us, bro. I'm done. They're intimidated by you. In order to end this, everyone that played needs to receive permission to end the game. What if it doesn't let any of us go? Red Book, may I leave the game? Anytime. Cool, thank you. Red Book, may I please leave this game? That's what your mother calls me. <laughs> wait, <what? laughs> okay, wait. What? Red Book, can I please leave this game? Now. Wait, wait, wait. He's really telling you, like, leave now. Okay, okay, close it. Thank you. Red Book, may I please leave the game? Wait for wait us. For us. <gasps> <laughs> That makes sense to theirs earlier. Wait, this might actually take the spirit out of my house and just go oh, to Anthony's house. Yo, why did he say us? <laughs> no, wait, wait, there's more than one. It's more than one. That sucks. That's yeah, scary. This that's whole thing was scary. very scary. Yeah, that was crazy. That was so scary. Do I need scary. to sit next to Ghost Lover 365? Because <laughs> this is like not. I don't want to. I do think Anthony should pick the next paper out of the box. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. Relax, bro. Enough with the squeaking. All right, guys. I'm about to seal my fate right here. If I get the worst one out of all of them, no one's going to forgive me for this. 270-301-5797. What is this? Is corded this to my house? Okay, guys. Um, it's back. Quite unfortunate. I think the ghost has the coordinates to my house. I don't know what this means. Please help me out. A Are these a quarter? Oh, it's a phone Yo. number. You got a phone, a phone number after all that? Maybe he wants to talk to you. I was kind of hoping we didn't get this one. Wait, are you serious? So it's a phone number that I saw online that said, do not call or bad things will happen to you. <laughs> and, oh, so just don't call it. Um, we are going to right now, no. Wait, can we just say how coincidentally weird it is that the ghost didn't want to communicate to Anthony, but now he has a number to call? Whoa, Whoa. that's crazy. Uh oh, it rang. Remember dialing this number at all? Press five to hear these options again. Five. 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 So you don't remember dialing this number? <laughs> Just sort of woke up with the phone pressed to your ear, ringing on the other end. Or maybe you thought you dialed a different number, but your digits betrayed you. Or there's a faulty connection somewhere out there. Call us back at extension seven eight. Seven eight six four. Should we do that? Okay. Wait, what? Seven eight six four. Yes. Bro. What's the first thing you remember when you're finished remembering? Press the zero button. For help identifying something that's happening in the dark, press two. What? If you are hearing organ music, press three to return to the main menu. Two is in the okay, dark. Two, okay, two, two, two. Because we were just in the dark. When you hear a sound you want to know more about, just press 1. At any time, you can press 5 to stop. It's probably thunder. Is that footsteps? Oh my god. Chainsaw. <gasps> stop. That did sound like a chainsaw. Oh 
we've been sitting here for about 20 minutes yeah. on that phone call and basically all we got is that it's a secret tourist guide organization and this is the central station and when you call it that's what you hear that doesn't make, make sense, sense. Yeah. it's super creepy it's telling you about things in the dark that was like one of the weirdest phone calls yeah. ever I felt uneasy yeah. about yeah. everything and there's so many options that I feel like the phone call can go on for like an hour if anybody wants to call that's the number Chanel oh. go pick something out of the box please not another catch phone a break number. that phone call was really scary I don't want anything like that so please do me good I'll let you guys see it first Sarah Sarita that sounds like a creepy ghost let's go see what this is are you guys still weirded out by the phone? That no. music is what tripped me out. I What's promise you, that? it put me in the weirdest mood and I'm gonna be in a weird mood for a while. Guys, this one's what a little creepy. We got Sarah Sarita. Oh no. We have an aunt named Rita and she has a daughter named Sarah. Wait, that's true. Oh Sarah. yeah, that's true. No, this is actually a creepy story. So Sarah and Sarita are two sisters from Mexico that got murdered and supposedly you could communicate with them through a coin flipping game. The correlation with the coins is that they actually used to wear coins as necklaces. To represent what, I wonder. We should find What's out. So this is a two-person game. Chanel and I'll start playing, and then yes. we'll see where it goes from there. So how this works is we ask yes or no questions. When we do so, we flip the coin behind our heads, and whatever it lands on will tell you your answer. Two heads is a yes, two tails is a no, and one heads, one tails is a maybe. Does my name start with a letter B? I got heads. I got heads. Oh my god. Oh my no, 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 no. Of course. Oh of course. <laughs> so these twin sisters were actually cheerleaders. Do you want to ask if they miss it? Do you guys miss cheerleading? I got a heads. I got heads. Oh my god. Oh. If you guys didn't know, Sarah and Sarita got killed at school by a creepy janitor who followed one of them into the bathroom. And that was the last that we heard of them. So, do you regret going into that bathroom? Tails. <laughs> okay, wait, if it's like they don't regret it, that's kind of creepy too. I got tails. No oh, way. Oh, wait, there's an urban legend that says Sarah Sarita became the daughters of the devil after. Maybe that's why they don't regret. Wait, wait what? what? Were you two good people? I got a tails. Tails. No. Oh. All right, see, now we're getting deep into it. Have one of you ever hurt someone? We got a tails. I got heads. So maybe split decision. Oh I know what the rules are, but I'm just saying there's two of them. One of them got beat up, but the other one put up a fight. So maybe one yeah. is yes and yeah. one half and half. That is true because guys, one of them that went to the bathroom, the creepy janitor took her life. And then the other twin went looking for her and she actually put up a fight with the janitor until sadly the janitor took over and killed her. So, so it's said that if you don't end this game properly, you can end up in a psych ward. I don't know if I believe that. What? what? Stop, stop, stop. Please. No, no, no. Wait, wait. You hear that? Wait, you're really the next corner. Trying to figure out a question to ask. We were gonna ask if something bad can happen to us if we don't end the game. Sarah and Sarita, may we please exit this game? Heads. Heads! Yes! Oh, thank God! Thank, thank you! you. Thank God, you. We're good. All right, who's going next? Not me. This is getting a little too scary. I'll do it. Yeah, you have no fear. Might as well, or I'll get it over with. Good yeah, like, luck, bro. I'm really curious to see what fate chooses for me. Cat scratch. Wait, that's crazy. I do have two at home if it's the puzzle. Oh, he has a you smirk a on his face. Hot. It's too coincidental. Cat, cat scratch. scratch. Cat scratch. Don't you have a cat? I have two. Oh my gosh, bro. I have no idea what I'm going to get myself into. This one's creepy. Let's just say whoever's doing this game, it's a two person game. One of them might end up with a scratch on their back. It's bad enough we've been communicating with yeah. them, but actually touching Wait, you. Wait, physically? That's yeah, different. No. I've been scratched before. You don't feel it, but it just appears on your back. So to play cat scratch, Noah will be lying on his back with his head in my lap as I massage his temples. Might sound weird. That's the way we have to do this. While I'm massaging his temple, I have to read a story. Everyone surrounding us can't say one word. There are two stories to this game. First, Noah's gonna try it, and then we're gonna swap, and he'll be telling the story as I'm laying in his lap, and by the end of it, you get up, take off your shirt, and see if there's a scratch on your back. To make things more interesting, I actually have cat balls. Fits the theme. These are just regular cat balls from the pet store. If anything physical touches them, they light up like that. So if those light up while we're doing this game, that is freaky. We put the cat balls on the top of the couch. So let's see how sensitive it is. 
All right, so it can't be us if they go off. Noah, get comfortable, brother. I've been needing one of these. It's literally oh. just a free massage. Uh, one is going off. What? <gasps> Stop. Dude, what? You know how rare it is Hold for on. cat balls to go off? Cat balls never go off. See how much force you had to put into that? Dude, you guys saw how hard you had to hit the cat, and it just oh, went off. Friend. It just <gasps> went off. That's actually insane. All right, where's your temples? Right here. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Cat ball went off. All right, no one make a noise. There once was an old lady who owned a cat. The cat was very nice. It meowed and purred. One day, the cat got hit by a car and died. <gasps> cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch. The old lady got a new cat. The cat was very mean. It hissed and clawed. Cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch. One day, the cat got hit by a car and died. The old lady decided not to get any more cats. Cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch. All right. That felt like a spell. Can we see your back? I'm just scared. I don't want to have a scratch Dude, on my hold back. Hold on, hold on. Noah, just lift your shirt. Okay, turn around. No. Nope feel anything different oh nothing nothing my I mean, turn that's probably for the better all right we're taking the left one out because that's the only one that was going off maybe it was malfunctioning you are walking through a dark alley late at night you are the only one there the ground is slick with rain the alley is filled with garbage cans and litter but then you hear something a movement in the garbage can you pick up your pace you want to get out of the alley fast but then you see something red eyes glowing red cat eyes they are the eyes of an enormous cat you run but the cat Cat chases you and jumps on you. It scratches you. One, two, three. Cat scratch. Cat scratch. Cat scratch. All right, bro. Did cast a spell on me. I'm not gonna. Right? Lie. Did the cat balls go off? No. no. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys first. Nothing. Wait. What is that? Stop. That's definitely <gasps> scratch. Okay. You guys are behind. I swear. No. Yeah, there's, a there's a line, bro. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. There's yeah. wait. There's one right there. Shut a up. long one. Shut oh, up. right here. Right here too. Right here too. No, wait. That's an actual. Behind? That's a scratch. Are you guys, can you guys just say you're pranking me? You are attracting it more. So it says, if the scratches don't appear for the first person, repeat the game and swap roles of listener and storyteller. This time recite the second story, which happened, it didn't happen for oh Noah, my gosh. happened for Brian, and then get this. If they do appear, keep an eye out for any strange cats. They might be your new pet. But you know what's crazy is like, the cat balls didn't go off. At all, even till now. They were going off for mine, but not for yours. Yeah. yeah. All the energy was probably towards you. That's crazy that it worked. You know what I was thinking? Who's the oldest of our group? Clint, the ghost. The ghost I feel like you should have a lot of experience in life in general, like just with not only this, but just everything. So I feel like you'd have a good way of communicating with spirits. These games are getting really, really intense. Well, Clint, it's your turn. Good luck out there. See you never. Time to pick one. Sandman, let's find out what this game is. He's back. What is Sandman? Cause I could make a million guesses. But this one is crazy. Let's just say the one person who's gonna be in the middle, which is gonna be you. After we do what we do, your body is gonna feel like it's filled with sand. Everyone's gonna be completely quiet except for one person. Anthony, I think you should do this. Anthony's gonna be telling a tale and practically hypnotizing Clint into thinking his body is filled with sand. So when Clint tries to get up, supposedly he's gonna be extremely heavy. Let's do it. Even from the back, he looks like Bob from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right, Clint, right now, your body is being full of sand. It's going in your ears, it's going in your mouth, it's going in your nose. You have sand filling all throughout your body right now. 200 pounds of sand is inside your body right now, and it's gonna make it impossible for you to stand up. Ready, Clint? Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> Didn't work on me, but I'm gonna make it work on somebody. Brian, you're trapped in an hourglass. Sand is dripping from the top into you, into your body, into your lungs, into your mouth, your eyes. Sand is pouring out of your ears. You feel like a sandbag is weighing you down. You are the sandbag. You are full of sand. Get up and let's see. I feel fine. I've heard it works for other people, but I guess it just didn't work. Hey, for maybe us. it's placebo. That was the first game that didn't work. I expected more to not work. I mean, that one's more of just like in your head. It's like a myth. Yeah. Who's next? We got Leslie. It's Wait, it's just head. Leslie. Yeah. Good luck. It's scary out there. Can I spin really weird? So I hope I get an easy one. 
ghost card game. Oh no, it sounds creepy. Guys. Don't say it involves a mirror. I don't know what it involves. This ghost card. card game. This one is actually cool. Sam and Colby have done this one. It's sick. Let's just say we're gonna be communicating with the other side again, so. What's new? You guys are all used to this. Hey! Before we played the game, you burnt it. Oh. That's actually, Wait, that's disrespectful. This is exactly why the ghost doesn't like Sherman. All right, so to play this game, you need a deck of cards and I'm gonna be laying them out on the table in three rows of six. Doesn't sound fun, but we gotta do it. But first, who's good at shuffling? Cause I'm not. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last row, two, three, four, five, six. We got our REM pod here too. We're gonna set to the side just to see if we get any activity. So if anything gets near that antenna, gonna make a noise. How this game works is we're pretty much gonna be asking yes or no questions to try to communicate with ghosts. You ask a question and you start hovering your hand over the cards. Once you feel a warm sensation over one of the cards, that's the one you have to pick up. So you'll feel it, it's crazy. Hearts means yes, spades means no, diamonds means maybe, and clubs means I don't know. Leslie, you pick the card, we want you to go first. Okay, are there any spirits in this house? Oh. oh my gosh, it's hard. hard. It's hard, hard TF? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, at this point, I'm not even surprised, bro. So there are spirits, we know that. What are the odds that that was just like a yeah. coincidence? Do you want to ask the same question? Yeah, I say we ask the same question two more times. If you pick a heart two more times, then that's like confirms. way more. Yeah, that confirms it a lot more. Are there any spirits in this house? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Oh. What? Okay, Hearts? Okay. That's actually scary. Did you feel heat? Like, what do you feel? I, I don't know if it's in my head, but like my intuition's telling me, okay, pick that one. Okay, wait. Okay, do it again. Are there any spirits in this house? Third time's the charm, right? Starting on, going on this, on this side? side. Three for three would just be not. Oh shit. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. That's, 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 weird. Weird. that's weird. absolutely that's insane. Weird. For sure weird. And I swear something was telling me like, pick this one, pick this one. Cause I that's wasn't crazy. going to like, I kind of went Please. for that one. Ghost, do you like playing with us? Do you feel heat? <laughs> Does it like playing with us? Oh no. That's a no? No. 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 We're probably bothering. <laughs> it does not like playing with us. Do you feel like you have a personal attachment to anybody here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's crazy. Do you have an yeah. attachment to Brian? The man sitting right across from me. I wanna see like if I feel. I kind of did. That's I'm crazy. Not, no, I kind of felt a little yeah. something. Maybe. Oh, uh, I know it does though. I feel like I've had a spirit attached to me for a long time. Yeah, but what if this isn't the one? I'm I'm sorry about this. I keep hearing stuff. Yes. Yeah. No, that was like, that like a Okay, either that, that was, was a. There's a motorcycle that just started in yeah. your driveway, and oh. it's currently what 1 a.m. It's 1:20 a.m. Either a motorcycle started in your driveway, or someone is currently at your door banging on the door. Just to let everyone out there know, everyone here in this room, including the cameraman, are the only ones in the house. Is the spirit that we are talking to living in your house? Days Rug, right. Brian Awadis. I'm hearing noise. I know. Yeah, me too. I think this whole night got me paranoid. I still hear the motorcycle or whatever it is. Oh. Dude. What a lot. And I swear, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I swear literally heard I heard something. something right by the table, bro. I'm not even kidding. I think someone's actually at the door. No. 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 I promise you there's someone no at the door. Way. I promise you I heard someone at the door. Okay, everyone. I 
you heard it though. Yeah, I did. I promise you it sounded like this. Look. It literally sounded like this. Should I take the lead? I think yeah. so, bro. Whoever and whatever is in our presence, do you plan on staying for a while? Good question. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. That's a maybe. Dang, it's like not giving us straight yeah. answers, but then it's also like making us feel deceived. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to know something crazy? We've been hearing noises. What if we just ask if it can make another noise? Whoever is in my house, if you can please let us know you're here by making a noise. Can you do something like that? Wait, did the candle just do yeah. something? The candle just started. Look at the candle going crazy. Look, why is it? Do you see that? And it's only that one. And it stopped now. Yes. Oh, what is that? Oh, 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 Dude, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. maybe. So there's a REM pod here on the table with us. We hear you walking around my house. If you can come make your way towards the table, there's a red light on this device. It will not harm you. If you just go up next to the antenna, it'll just let us know you're here. All you have to do is go up and touch the antenna. Oh my gosh. Oh all my three. God, all You're really close. The device is right under. Did you guys hear oh, that? Oh, no. you heard that? That was like, that was snapping. That was like okay, snap. Can we please end the game? Maybe. I'm taking that as a yes. To reveal. Damn, we've had a lot of yeses and I don't know. So we've all picked a game from the box. We could end it here at six, but I don't want to end on that number. I'm weirded out by the fact that in the beginning on that book, yeah, it said, so I yeah. will show you what true fear is. It's gonna come back around to me. I'm gonna go pick the last game. I'm kind of scared to go out there alone. And for the last and final one, we're ending off on seven games. I'm trying to end it off on good luck. So here we go. Hey, what if we all just left? You think he would notice? It's just gonna come back by himself. Oh Clint. Wait, should we? Wait, my body feels like shit. Clint. <laughs> Please, nothing crazy. Dark road ghost hunting. Let's just say we got a cyber truck outside, and we're gonna see if that cyber truck can detect ghosts on a creepy road. Guys, bro, oh, please, can you guys come back? Guys. Here's how this is gonna work. Bro, we were this close to escaping. I know. <laughs> you guys almost made it, but I caught you guys. Thought <laughs> was at the door like a saw movie. Cyber truck. We're gonna see if it can detect ghosts. What the? There's a ghost here. Dude. It's crazy. So when you're driving in a Tesla, if you drive past pedestrians walking on a sidewalk, it actually shows a figure on the dashboard. It shows a like figure like walking. It detects a person walking. Exactly. Can we test it real quick? Yeah, let's test that. Okay. okay, so you see the two cars parked to the right. Oh yeah. There you are. Sherman is walking in front, but we're gonna be driving on a scary road to see if there's any figures that pops up when obviously there won't be any figures walking on the street. Get in, losers. We're, we're going shopping. ghost hunting. We're going ghost hunting. I think I'm gonna sit this one out because there's not enough space in the car. Well, just go chill with the ghosts inside my house. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Let's go to the store. Let me know when you guys are ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, it's really zero to 60 in freaking two seconds. All right, so we're turning down the road. The road looks so scary. Keep in mind, you're looking here. If you see that figure of someone walking, that's not good. All right, I'm gonna drive pretty slow. Wait, that looks creepy, bro. This actually worked a few years ago when I tried it in another Tesla. We actually took it to like one of the most haunted roads in the world. So far, nothing. That is gonna end today's video. We're all tired. That was scary though. A lot of the games worked. It was cool communicating with whatever, whatever we were communicating we with. with. You guys like the haunted videos, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all with the next vid. Peace. Peace.